I saw a video of you talking to somebody about Laganja. how many milligrams. Yeah. And they said 30. You were like, 30? 30, yeah. And I was like, 30? Dude, I used to do thousands. I know, like, Joey Diaz would do, like... I could hang with him. Hundred. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't even want to know what that feels like. It I feels even, pretty like, good, oh. especially when you don't want to know anything anymore. Like, at what point do you stop being high I and just skate, be... <laughs> I used to skateboard like that. You used to skate high? As high Ripped. as I could get. Oh, my God. No, see, I'm like a five milligram Yeah, that's insane. Under. Don't even say you're in the weed world when you say five. I'm milligram. not really. No, like, you're not. I, I can... No, you're I not. Can, you said three. Three, five to three. Yeah, three's, three to five. Three's like, no. It's like smoking a cigarette. Hey, you haven't even their own. No. Don't tolerance shame me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> don't not. Somebody needs to. I don't. I mean, I can drink anybody under the table, though. Okay. Well, then you're an alcoholic, and I'm happy for you. Well, you're a stoner. You, I'm, bo I'm you're both. I'm all of them. I'll do all of them. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Oof. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast with Justin Martindale. I am here with this week's guest. You know him from. I mean, you're kind of like the butchest gayest yeah. person we've had on yeah uh i'm MMA. the renaissance man of the legitimate qua you're the legitimate qua renaissance man uh he's got a podcast with tony hawk yeah. uh wolf and hawk hawk versus wolf hawk versus wolf thank you um mma fighter skateboard extraordinaire you have a podcast jason uh, ellis show yeah i've been on it we're you so have, glad you, to we have, went viral I did? Yeah. Dude, legitimate car when I got a million likes on Instagram. First time ever the Jason L show did viral stuff. Well, in the words of Denise Richards, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it is none other than Jason Ellis, everybody. Woo! Yeah. Yes. Right. So excited you're here. I'm pumped to be here. I mean, what a... Um, what a week to actually have you on, because this is going to be, we've got a lot to discuss. Okay. Um, first and foremost, thank you for braving the rain. I like driving in the rain. <sighs> I used to race cars, and I'm from Melbourne where it rains a lot. So yeah. I like puddles, and I like burnouts, and I like scaring people that don't know how to drive. I know I shouldn't say that, but I do. <laughs> like when there's a big puddle on the road and I go yeah. real fast through it, and then it, the water hits everybody else. and they I like, like watching stop. those videos. That's funny. I like watching those videos. However, I feel like that's going to be instant karma where I will be that person and be like, it was a lot funnier when I saw it on the internet. Right. I like a wave hitting me too, though. Yeah. Well, I, I get mean, the joke. Like that's like a surfing <laughs> wave, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. But it just, I like, like. You don't want like Hollywood trash piss water like hitting you. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I, I don't, but if, <laughs> but if it's funny for them, I get it. It's uh -huh. kind of like if a good comedian is attacking me. Like who? <laughs> name names. You, name them. <laughs> Bobby Lee and people that are funny and way above me. And they're like, what's up with you, loser? Ooh. I think that's funny. Good. Because it's now, an honor, you know? I, I Well, it's like a good, like a, like a, a lovable roast. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even if it's not lovable, it's an honor. I think it's funny if you know the person who's driving through the puddle over. Like, I don't oh, want. Oh, that's very that's funny. That's better. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can handle that. I don't want some yeah. stranger just being like, fuck you. you Unless know? they don't like that I just made them get a wave of mm -hmm. L.A. piss water, mm -hmm. then I feel bad. But you know what? In the words of every um, basic girl in this town, basic bitches, we need it. That's what's up. We need this rain. We need it. That's right. It's good it's for the ground. It's going to be a green spring. Why do worms get out of the ground when it rains a lot and go in the pool? You know what? I knew this question would be asked one day. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad you're here because Good. I think it's, um, hold on. I know they're drowning, right? No, in the I, ground? I think they're going out. Like, I think it's, it's, it's the mud is letting them out. And I yeah. don't know why they go in the pool. Yeah. Cause why go in the pool? I mean, yeah, that's true. It's water. Mm -hmm. they, I thought they were dodging the water from the ground. They don't have eyes. So they do have that argument, but still, can't you just sense that the pool is bad? I don't know. Dude, They're always I, in the pool. How many blind people fall in the pool every day? Can we Google that? I don't know. Because I would like to know how many blind people fall in the pool yeah. when it's raining. I think that's a good one. Um, but no, tell us what's been going on. You you just got back from the X Games. Yeah, I'm host of the Winter X Games, which is crazy. Cause... Yeah, and for, for those um, who don't know, the X Games is what, like, just extreme sports? Action sports. sports. Yeah. Action sports. Yeah, X, 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 extreme sports is like, we don't like that. Sponsored by... 
monster energy. Yeah. Keeps you energized. Uh Uh-huh. Because sometimes kids get tired. (laughs) And you need something to fire you up, you know? Like, especially if you're going to jump a big jump or, yeah. a, you know, kickflip or something. That can be very tiring, Justin. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like a lot of parents love their kids on Monster Energy drinks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't. My kids will not drink that. Maybe they do behind my back, but that's, to me, it's like vaping. No offense to Monster Energy. Yeah. Because that's a great, refreshing beverage. I actually had one not too long ago. And it was Were you fried up? It was, the, it was the new one. They have a new one out. They have a lot of new ones. Yeah. And it was not bad. Right. I don't know. It like kind of, I think it was, I don't remember what it was. I'll let you know. I'll cool logo. Out. Cool logo. Apparently it's satanic. I know. I remember seeing that woman on TikTok be like, this This is the mark of the beast. And it's like, oh, Sally. See what I mean though? When it's, a, when it's some lady on TikTok, it's usually not true. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, no, dude, it's a slash. Stop weirding it out and turning it up di- upside down and say, did you know that in pre- not t- some other language that the mm-hmm. thing looks like the thing it's like sanskrit or or it's just a slash yeah people love to just bring up sanskrit like every a now monster then. slash the can yeah no it's pretty obvious what it is mm-hmm. really no back in leviticus times yeah, leviticus that's what it was yes <laughs> it's always leviticus yeah what is up with that i don't know it's because we don't know what leviticus is so when they say that you go Ooh, oh then it must be true mm. satan is real oh yeah. did someone say leviticus yeah because yeah. i'm like i don't know what just happened leviticus yeah. is that a guy like what yeah. happened it's just some chapter anyways so right. how was the x games it was Good. You met Gus Kenworthy. Yeah. Yes. People thought that there was uh-huh. a thing. My man. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they thought you guys were. I got up? a lot of DMs mm-hmm. and a lot of friends were like, "You guys look like you were hitting it off," and I was like, "What does that mean?" Uh huh. And and then my manager tried to show me a slow mo video because at one point there was a photo of him and I was like, "Man, you're really attractive. If I had hair, I would be just as attractive as you." And he's like, "You look." really attractive without hair and then he gave me a down up uh-huh and 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 my manager thinks that we could have hit it off and that actually was the beginning because you know i told you i haven't felt very gay lately yeah what was it three months yeah yeah he triggered my gay back gus kenworthy can do that because i was like you know what i would date that guy yeah we could both be action sports gays you know, I think we could jump each other i think i think we <laughs> i think that's definitely a time to I think this year we could actually have that. I feel like it could be a whole new level of power gaze. I think he has a boyfriend. <sighs> but I would, because I respect him too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want to just jump him. You're I'll, a gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, wait. Okay. So X Games. <laughs> yeah. Then you go into the hospital. What happened? Right. So Friday, I got a little concussion. I hit my head. Snow- From the X Games? Snowboarding. Okay. I took a break and went snowboarding, and I didn't wear a helmet because I'm old school. Uh-huh. I will from now on, but at the time, I didn't. And I took a little bit of a tumble, and I was like, that's no problem. I get concussions all the time. Then on Sunday, they were like, you're wrapped. And I was like, oh, okay, like no more stuff. That's a bummer, but cool. I'll go snowboarding again. And then I got a little cocky. I was doing some rails and I was like, man, I feel like an old Jason. I can do all kinds rails of Rails are what? Oh, you jump in the air and you land on a rail and you okay. snowboard and slide along it. Hollywood rails are no. different than snowboarding Thank rails. Thank you for making me clarify. You're welcome. Yeah, no bumps for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just snow bumps. Snow everyone. bumps. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. No, 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 no. You're confusing everybody. <laughs> snowboarding bumps. Wait. Just snowboarding on handrails or doing aerials uh, off jumps. There you white go. White powder. Oh, God. No, stop doing it. <laughs> stop saying it. I didn't do any cocaine. Okay, okay? there it is. Okay. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, so then I took a real good one. Uh-huh. And, like, hit my head. It's still really sore, but hit the top of my head. And uh, and I remember my goggles were broken in front of me, and I was like, "Oh no, I got knocked out." And my son came by, and he's like, "You okay?" And I'm like, "Yep," because I don't want to freak him out. And I'm, I'm like, "Yeah, you know me, dude. It happens." Yeah. And then I got told that they needed me back up there, and I was like, "Wait, really?" <laughs> you thought you were like wrapped, and you're yeah. like, "Oh no, I have a concussion." And I had now. a pink balaclava on, and I go up to the stage, and I'm like, "You guys need me?" And they're like, "You're on right now." We don't have time to put an earpiece in. You're on right now. And I didn't have time to tell anybody that I was just recently unconscious. <laughs> so they give me a microphone and and I'm and I'm and I'm like, oh my God, like what am I gonna do? And did you I, read a do you have to read a teleprompter or anything? No, they know me. Even when I'm not knocked out, <laughs> don't expect me to read. Okay. I'm the riff guy. Yeah. And I'm just excited to be there, which is awesome because I am excited to be there and I love to riff. 
So they give me my job. It's no pressure. But Salem and Masakela, he's the real host and he's a good friend of mine. So I was just, I remember saying, watch his lips. And when his lips stop, that would be time for you to do something. Uh huh. <laughs> and there was a guest and he had just won gold and he was a pro snowboarder, but I didn't know because I was knocked out five minutes before this interview. And he's like, hey, man, I'm a big fan. I was like, cool. I don't know who this guy is. But I, do, I do now, but at the time I kind of forgot what was happening. And uh, and he, Salema finished his lips moving. And then I looked at that guy and then his lips were moving. And I was like, okay, I don't, I don't need to say anything. And then as his lips were moving, I'm like, oh, shit. When his lips stop moving, everyone's going to expect me to say something. And I was like, and you just had birds flying around your head. Have you ever time. done comedy where you don't know what you're, you forgot what you were going to say, but it comes just in time? That's what happened. Where I was like, I'm so screwed. This is going to be so embarrassing. And then I remember I looked at the teleprompter and I was like, wait, I have a balaclava on. Like my face is completely covered. <laughs> and nobody Still told from me. The accident. Any, yeah. 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 Nobody said, hey, man, maybe reveal your face. So I. <laughs> That was a good idea because you couldn't see how rocked I was. Well, that's the thing. Like, this was what, last week? Sunday. I mean, you look fine. Yeah, I'm like, sore. My neck is like, sore. This is you in the hospital. Yeah, well, that's later that night. So then I got, a, so I did my interviews. Everybody was happy. I didn't cuss or anything. And then I go back to my room, get some pasta for dinner. And my heart go, went into AFib while I was eating dinner. <sighs> and AFib is like when one part of your heart beats super fast. And I have, my heart jumps a lot mm -hmm. and it usually goes back to normal. But this time it was going and going. I was like, please, God, don't do this to me. Yeah, you have a podcast to record with I'm, me like I'm, next I'm week. I'm in Aspen. <laughs> like, what? I don't want to go to hospital in Aspen. Like, is that uh, bad? I, yeah. Turns out it's good. I would say Aspen is a good hospital to be in. It is. I don't want to crap on the one in LA, but <laughs> Cedar sucks compared yeah. to this. I, I'm sorry. You have an Aspen hospital. You're in good hands. Yes, I yeah. really was. Yeah. <laughs> so they gave me, they gave me, <laughs> like it's, they took, they're very nice to me. Uh, and they were like responsive immediately. Right when I got there, they were like, we'll put on some stuff to lower your heart rate, mm -hmm. which made me feel a little calmer because it's like really fast. And I was like, I don't want to die. And I hate that feeling where you think you're going to die. Yeah. Because it's been a couple times in my life. And I'm like, man, again, really? And this time I didn't do any drugs. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know why. I was like, did I hit my head in that closet? And the doctor said, he's like, have you been uh, like not sleeping? And I was like, well, they work me pretty hard here. So it's like up late, uh, up and late, get up early. Yeah. And the elevation. So I'm like, oh, that caused it. And then they tell me that if the drugs don't make it go back in, then we're going to have to shock your heart. Ugh. And that's happened to me once before. And that was very traumatic. You know, when they're like, we're going to knock you out and then we're going to electrocute you. And I'm like, yeah. electrocute me like in the <laughs> movies where they go clear. Yeah, like that sounds terrible. Yeah. That's like a dead guy. And then they did that. But this time, because the last time they did it, I had like burn marks from the paddles. Oh, right. But this time they were like really nice. I woke up. And they're like, your heart's back. And then I called my cardiologist and he's like, you're okay. Like, uh, you know, I got to go in tomorrow and get a checkup. But it's not fatal stuff. It's a lot of people live with it. It's, still, it's scary. still scary. Yes, yeah. it is very scary. And then <clears throat> the concussion makes you depressed. And when you've had as many as me, it's it's hard. You're like in a fog and you just don't really think anything that is that cool anymore. Mm -hmm. And I just almost died. So it's just like you almost died. And your heart is wrecked and my head is wrecked. And I'm just like, man, I hate this. I hate it being in a hospital. I don't like, I don't have a person. Yeah. And, you know, my manager's there and she's a beautiful person. She cares, but it's not the same. Oh. So, and I think hitting my head made it feel darker. Yeah. So it was a bit of a struggle. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're here. And I'm glad that the Aspen Hospital, especially in the Kyle Richards Kimosabi wing. Great. Um, if you're going to have a heart problem, I highly recommend you do it in Aspen. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I, but, and, and you also got two new tattoos. Yeah. I got three new ones. I got another three? one on my shin last night. I know. You're yeah. like, you're like ready to go. This is a whole new you. It kind Kind of is good, yeah. And you know, I mean, I saw some. You know, I mean, I'm like, okay, you, you might die. Did you see angels or lights? No, or I know it'd be so much easier if God just came down. And was like Jason, you know, yeah. what I mean, like we're gonna do this. You're gonna be a huge comedian. Just you know, <clears throat> don't do drugs. I'd be like, okay, I can okay, do that. Fine, deal. Yeah, but no, I just have to guess that he's there. I mean, they, it's there because I don't believe it's a guy with a beard. No, yeah, I just think it's like you know. 
the universe and stuff. It's hard. It's still hard for me to believe in anything because they don't talk. <laughs> You know, it's just like, even if it was in another language, just say something Just to say me, you know? something. I know. I'm the same way. Konnichiwa. And don't give up. You know, I'd be like, <clears> okay. You're like, the, fine. I got the last bit. You know? Message heard. Yeah. But I just got to believe. Um, well, I, I'm very excited you're here because you said you haven't done gay stuff in three months. Yeah. Now, for our listeners who don't know, you came out as bi, mm -hmm. right? Like, how many years ago? Probably about five or six five now. years ago yeah. yeah so mma extreme mm. sports like skateboard ugh. tattoo motocross race yeah. cars fighting <clears throat> fire jumping stuff i mean a girl's a girl i love like people i'm a ladies man i was yeah and, and and i and i always had like a bunch of hot chicks around me and and guys wanted to be me yeah until they found out i Suck dicks. Yeah, I know. That'll do it like, every whoa. time. Yeah. I was like, whoa, really? Mm hmm I mean, you know, I, as I've said before, like your mom probably did it. Is she a bad person? You know? Oh, don't get me started. Um <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean, um, so I just I feel like I'm kind of like your gay godfather a mm -hmm. little bit. Cause mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like the elder who's like trying to and you understand me. The torch. You're, yeah. the, you're the gayest guy that understands my straight gay trying to get out like, yeah because i was the i had to play the opposite of that growing that's up that's what it is yeah i mean i i, I tried but like you know people but you, i can tell you do i've seen your stand-up you're very funny but you also you you don't you're not like one way you, oh right you like everybody i have jokes for everybody i'm a pan comedian <laughs> yes <laughs> so am i yeah we're, we're both coming from the opposite i feel like there's so much more to talk about than just like you know, the what people expect from you. Yes. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's all sorts of comics, LGBT comics, who that's their thing. Yep. Go for it. Yep. Good for you. Agreed. But that's just not me. I want mine to be like everybody can kind of relate. Me but too. Um, since you were here, mm. I now have to pass on another kind of uh, gay moment for you. Okay. We had an award show yeah. last night. Yeah. And now we are going to talk about the 66th annual Grammys. Okay. Did you watch any of it? I saw some on social media. Yeah. I know that Miley Cyrus won and she had no panties on. Right. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. That's pretty good, right? Miley Cyrus got two Grammys. Well deserved. I, th I thought it was very, very well deserved. I thought she looked amazing. She I did. thought she was fun. Me too. I love that she had this Jane Fonda hair. I like, didn't know like that. You didn't like that? I, I loved it. I think she looked good with it, but mm -hmm. I don't. I feel like all people that have that haircut could be so much hotter. Oh, I loved it. It was just giving me like '80s, like weather woman. Like yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. like Jane Fonda. She did look workout. good with it, and I was. Yeah. it was kind of surprised. It's kind of like like low cut jeans. It's like why? Yeah, but but she, if you're really hot, I'm like eh, I still I'm still in. She uh, forgot not only her underwear. She yeah. said in her speech, but she she forgot, forgot her father. Forgot to thank Billy Ray, <laughs> she, which I was like, that's personal, right? I don't know. Like she said, I think I covered everybody, uh -huh. and did, you said mom, like mom, yeah. usually triggers the other one, mm -hmm. you know. And then you said your sister, like yeah. they're they're in line, and then no dad. I, did dad cheat? I that's where I got my. I think so. My theory actually. was he cheated on her the mom, mom yeah. and she's not giving him a shout out for that. Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty like, damn. But, you know, she also mentioned like Dolly Parton. She got the first award of the night. She uh, got her award from Mariah Carey. Mm. So she kind of like fangirled out with her for a minute. And I thought that was kind of amazing. But it was just, I thought it was an overall good night. I mean, you had, there was some, like, I loved Tracy Chapman performing. Yeah, she looks so good ah, still. That just like, I started tearing up a little bit. Because I was just like, gay. wow, what a moment. Yeah. Um and then Luke Com Luke Combs is that the, the Luke Combs the guy that sang with her? with her yeah he did great um I just thought that was such a cool moment like think of all the karaoke bars you've been to and here you are on the Grammy stage with Tracy Chapman singing her song like yep. I thought it was really cool Joni Mitchell performing um Stevie Wonder um I mean you had SZA. he can see you know that right no he can't yeah, he can everybody's already said that he can see what do you mean he's a liar. 
He's a liar. You're calling Stevie Wonder a liar? He's the greatest musician that ever lived, and he's a blatant liar. Do you think he falls in the pool? No. Because okay. he can see the edge. <laughs> he sees stuff. People that know him have said that. Oh, that okay. It's so, not good eyesight. I'll give him but that. It's, he can see shapes and he shadows. He can see, so he knows what's going on. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like, he'll find the piano without you telling him to go there. Like, he grabs the mic, and you're like, How? wait. I love that you're calling Stevie Wonder like America's fraud. <laughs> he's not a fraud. Like he's, he's not a fake singer. He's not he's Millie not Vanilli. But you're saying he can see things. He's not completely like That's blind what I'm as saying. a bat. Maybe okay. it's got worse as he got older, but yeah. he's probably. Yeah, I, but he can see. But uh what other what other moments do we have? We had Jay-Z calling out the Grammys for saying that Beyonce has the most awards she ever whatever. has never won Artist of the Jay -Z Year. Jay-Z anymore. I heard some sketchy stuff about him. I'm sure. I'm sure there's sketchy stuff about Hanging all out with of that. But the biggest scandal. Yeah. Everyone's going after Taylor Swift now. Why? Because uh, Celine Dion came out yeah. at the very end. Yeah. She's having a rough couple of years dealing with stiff person syndrome. It's incurable. And she surprised everybody by showing up at the Grammys at the end. I freaked out. Because how'd she, how'd she look? Great. Not stiff. No. Right. I was. I honestly, feel like her right now. My neck is so jacked. Well, yeah. You had a concussion. Right. She, She's just living. Right. You know what I mean. But living and, tough. Yeah. It's got to be tough to live tough after living so easy. Well, it's kind of like like when I had hair, I was so handsome, and now I'm not. You're and it's fine. Tough. Eh, appreciate <laughs> it, but I'm Gus pretty. Kenworthy checked you out. Yeah, but he might have dated me if I had hair. You know? Oh, see, there it is. Yeah. The, the hair insecurity. Oh, yeah. That's okay. You're and fine. my head, for, I broke my head a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's like bumpier and stuff. And I got old. I'm going to get Botox soon. Okay. Yeah. Keep us uh, updated on oh, that I journey. Will. You'll I want to see you with Botox. Let's see what it's like. I want to hear um, your opinion. But no, she. I freaked out because I was like, oh, shit. If she's in a wheelchair, I am not going to be able to deal with this. And she came out. Walking? She, yeah, she looked fantastic. She had her son next to her. She uh -huh. had, um, um, I'm trying to remember, <laughs> La Roach, I think, dressed her for the evening. Um, she looks great. And La Roach? La Roach is a, a big celebrity stylist. Right. Um, and so... Did he make dresses for men? I think so, actually. I'm lately. sure he does. Yeah. Um, but uh, she presented Taylor with, I think, what was it, album of the year or whatever, and this is where it got weird. First yeah. of all, she so won. So far, it sounds pretty cool. It sounds okay. So first, Taylor won for I think pop song of the year. Yeah. Um. And it was for, uh, what was it for her album Midnight's? It was the song uh, Antihero, and um, I believe it was Antihero. And she gets up there, and rather than like thanking everybody, she's like. Because Miley got up there. She goes, oh, my God, this is my first Grammy. And she, like, threw it in her song. And then Taylor gets up there. And she's like, you guys, this is my 13th Grammy. And it's like, oh, no. She said that line. And it cuts to Miley. And she's like, you know. Yeah. Um, and then she says, also, I have a new album coming out April 19th. Oh, she did a plug. She did. After bragging about how many awards she's got. Exactly. Snobby. Oh, I think she's in her asshole era. Yeah. And I think a lot of people kind of like felt the same thing because Ooh. they were just like, really? Like you're you're using this to like I think people are getting exhausted with her. She's everywhere. Everyone's talking about her all the time. Tokyo is making like national announcements saying she can make the Super Bowl this weekend if she leaves at X amount of time. She brings up Lana Del Rey after getting album of the year. Lana was nominated and lost. And Lana like gets dragged up on stage like, I don't want to go up there. And she's like, get up here. And then Celine is there. Celine presents her the award. Taylor doesn't even acknowledge her. Dude. And every that's three strikes. Three strikes. I'm like, first of all, how do you not? And everyone's like, oh no, she was standing up and like singing her song when she came out. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. No. She was also standing up during everybody else's moment. Yeah. Everybody else's moment at the Grammy stage. She was the only one standing up being like, 
She Look loves, at me, I'm crazy. She loves the camera thing. Well, and she's a bit of an attention hoe. A little bit, I think. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, of course, everyone's like, no, they, they made up at the end. They took a picture. And I'm like, no, right there. You're supposed to thank her and you for go, all the trials and tribulations she's in right now. I'm getting a fucking Grammy from Celine Dion. Yeah. Like, Go back to Miley. She's like, oh my god, two MCs, Mariah Carey, Miley yep. Cyrus. Like, that. what a like. She tells her she whole, paid homage. Yeah. So I don't know. I think, and people are like, kind of coming for Taylor a little Is it bit. Isn't like from being this big and everybody loving her so much? Aren't we like a culture that it's like, okay, your time is up and it's time to wreck you? Because really, since I've seen. Her rise, it's been pretty positive. I mean, yeah. I think the the boyfriend thing, a lot of people poked at that. But if you're going to bone that many dudes, you're going to get poked at. But, Fair. But that's a haiku. That's some like, that's that needs to be on like a Live, Laugh, Love poster or something. Right, that needs and, to be at a TJ Maxx. And stop writing songs about every one of them and maybe we'd let it go. But if yeah. you're going to be like, this one broke my heart, that one broke my heart. It's like, dude, you're a bit loose, really. Well, and also I feel like her fans, a lot of her fans are mean. Yes. Like you can't say anything about her. They attack anybody that has any argument with her. Yeah. And also like on this podcast especially, it's like we try our, <laughs> like Lant, my producer, and Lee, we we were like, you know what? Let's not talk about Taylor Swift. And then the day of, it's like, here we go. We got to talk about this. Is it usually positive? I mean, I feel like sometimes it is. So I mean, she does get shit on. I know. And I kind of catch her in her shit. And I feel like this is kind of a, a, a like, gotcha, bitch. This is a big one. I gotcha. Yeah. Because all the Taylor fans are just like, oh, my God, you guys, our queen would never. And I'm like, she look at the video. She does not look at Celine Dion in the eyes at all. And this poor woman, like, showed up standing up, being at this event that she didn't have to go to, and she presents, you know, and Taylor, of course, made history. This is the, she's the first time someone's won uh, Album of the Year four times. So she's beat, like, Stevie Wonder, I think was one of them as well. That's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, he's a liar, but he's better than her. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. But I think that it kind of validates what Jay-Z was saying. He was just like, oh, of course you give it to Taylor Swift, you oh, know. Oh, that's what he was... Pretty okay, much. Well, I'm back on board then. Yeah. Go GG. So I think she's kind of getting a little shit. And then the whole like, guys, my new album. I'm like, fuck. That's crazy. You don't I need, need to a promote break. It. We know. You just did a tour. You, yeah. You're everywhere in the news. You're, you're on everywhere. football all the time. Like, God. I didn't even damn. watch football and I, I see was it. wanting a Taylor free spring. Yeah. And now I'm like, okay, now I have to hear about every fucking song in April again. And yeah. now I have to hear all like, ugh. It's just I'm not a, into it. It's a never ending I've never cycle. been into her. Not my not my type. Who's your type? I like a little bit of meat. Hmm. Like who? She just seems real skinny and assless. <laughs> and I like an I like an ass, you know. Like you like a like a. I'm not saying I won't go an assless lady, but if you have a bit of meat, it's definitely gonna. I mean, I like. What the, about what I about like attack? Ooh, who what the about, hell is that? That's Doja Cat. Oh my god, I really want to bone her. Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay. I love tattoo girls and black girls, and uh -huh. she's both. Well, she definitely is that real tattoos. Yeah. Holy Jesus! She's, look at her butt. <laughs> wow. Sorry, this is super not gay. <laughs> But I, think I am it is. super into. It. <laughs> I really? think it's would fine. You, would you be into? No, I mean I can judge her. I can judge the style. Sexy. I mean she you looks. Know? Well, here's the thing. A lot of people gave her. This is the worst dress list of the Grammys. Oh, okay. So yeah, she, I don't like her. She showed up at um, the red carpet. She had a little bit of her nips out. We can see that. That's hot. She also wore a trucker hat. That's not that hot. Yeah. So it was a lot of like, where are we going? Yeah, yeah I um, agree. But yeah, I feel like Doja Cat just kind of does her own thing. You know, like you that like she made this. her hair further back from her forehead and made that line thing. That's cool. Oh, like the baby hairs. I envy that because mm. I have no chance. You know, but you never God, know. That ass is crazy. Is that real? It's not real, is it? I don't know. I don't care. I would. I, you know what? Man. I feel like people are doing so many things with their bodies now that I just don't know anymore. Yeah. I mean, I feel like back in the day, you'd be like, you know, <laughs> oh, those boobs are silicone. And now yeah. you're just like, I don't know anymore. I just don't care. <laughs> I know. I feel you the know? same way. Like I'm like, whatever. If it's fake, if it looks good, then hell yeah, you know? Um, what else do we have with the Grammys? We have, uh, these are some of the worst dress. We had- I don't like this lady. Chrissy Teigen? Yeah. I mean- 
She's going out with that piano guy, right? She's John Legend, yeah. 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 I don't like that dress. She got I nice legs. Yeah, she did. Yeah, but she's that dress okay. is stupid. We have um who Who's that? That's a good question. She looks sad. This is Charlotta Lawrence. Yeah, I have Charlotta Lawrence. What's up? What happened? Did somebody just break up with her before she went on the red carpet? I don't know. Like I always feel like there's always the like one or two people from a red carpet that I'm just like who are you? Okay, like, you, where did you come from? It might be almost everybody for me, but yeah, she looks sad. What is that? That, that is, is stupid. She looks like like Darth Vader's girlfriend. I think yeah, she's definitely supporting the Empire, right? Um, yeah, it is giving you Stormtrooper Galaxy. <laughs> what? They're, ca they're calling it an optical illusion style dress. No, this is not. No, what's this, the illusion? No, this is optical yeah. delusion. Is it illusion. Yes, del optical yeah, optical delusion. delusion. <laughs> yeah. That's what this is. Like yeah. this looks great. Okay, bitch. I don't have gloves uh, anymore either. I noticed uh, what's her name that we all hate now. Her gloves. <laughs> That go up there. Who Taylor Swift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. I like. I don't know about know. that. You know. Um, Can I the, use your phone? I like. I like a good. A good glove, but I see uh, what you're saying. Um, it's just and, like ballroom and, attire, you know. Yeah, I think everyone's just trying to like elevate old style. Yeah, just to be cool. Get a new one. Get a new one. Figure it Batman out. Batman gloves are pretty sweet. Yeah. Or like, or like a with Catwoman those. nails, Ooh. like with the with the glove with the nail on top. So into that. That's a real fun one. Um, let's talk about SNL. So this past weekend on SNL, we had comedian actress Golden Globe winner Ayo Edebiri. Uh, she was uh, hosting it, yeah. hosting SNL alongside Jennifer Lopez as yeah. the musical guest. Okay. Um, now back in, I want to say what what was the year on that? Huh? 2020. Okay, so back in 2020, um, she was on a podcast and was talking shit about Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. So cut to, <laughs> now she's on SNL, hosting SNL alongside Jennifer Lopez. And yeah. so she did a sketch where she kind of apologized and said, I need to be a little more conscious on like, uh, what I say on podcasts, I was 24, I was stupid. What? Um, Just own it. Yeah, so it was the Scam Goddess podcast. She goes, um, she says she was thinking about, uh, hold on. She says, today I was actually thinking about one of my favorite scams of all time because J-Lo's performing at the Super Bowl. Uh, her whole career is one long scam. Kind of like what you just said about Stevie Wonder. Well, the difference is Stevie Wonder wrote and did his own songs and Jennifer Lopez didn't. Mm. I heard she didn't even sing some of those songs. Well, that is urban legend. <laughs> Folklore. Well, there's rumors that she like took some of like Ashanti's songs and like some of her. I don't know. I don't know. Um, she might be full of it. She seems full of it. She seems like a song thief. She seems like uh, <laughs> everything about her is fake. Well, I'm not going to be doing, I'm not going to be on Saturday Night Live with her. <laughs> so I think I'm in the clear. We just got a text from Lauren Michaels. Yeah, we'll yeah. be doing yeah, SNL no, I, with I, J-Lo. I can't wait. Yeah, anyway. um, But it is kind of interesting how, I just don't know. Like, have you ever had that happen where you've been caught Talking oh. shit about someone, and you're like, and then the next day you're like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> well, see, I don't, I won't do that. Yeah. I just get super uncomfortable, and I'm like, are we going to fight? Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, like, oh, physically fight. Yeah. Yeah, because if I said something bad about you, and then I'm in the room with you. You're going to fight them? Oh, no, if you talk. Would you be my bodyguard if yeah. I needed one? I need the money, so yeah. <laughs> just point, and I'll shoot. <laughs> Well, we don't have to shoot. We don't. No, I mean like shoot a punch okay. into their face. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't use weapons. Oh, uh, I because that's I've never I've never been in a physical fight, ever. <laughs> it's, it's terrifying. It's it's terrifying to me. But I feel like I have a good jaw to like to take a shot. To take a shot. That's an interesting theory. But I, you know what? The the, <laughs> the hard ass of me would be like I wouldn't even let him get to me. Yeah, because like I said before, getting out of the way is cooler. Okay, yeah, you know? get out of the way. Like, take a shot, be like, that didn't even hurt. What about moving out of the way and uh -huh. being like, you can't touch me? Yeah. I got friends in fighting that can do that, and Oof. it's way cooler. Ugh. Yeah. But, I've, I mean, I feel I feel like there was some sort of forgiveness with J-Lo <laughs> and uh, AO, IO. Um, but it is kind of like, Ugh. I've done that where I've been like, I've texted somebody, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 
can you believe that shit? And they're like, why are you, what are you talking about? And I'm like, ha ha ha, LOL. <laughs> I just, I just remembered I did one, I talked smack on a UFC fighter uh-huh. and he lost a fight and kind of argued that he didn't lose a fight. And I did a radio show where I talked about him being delirious and that he had a butt in his chin. He really does. So if you Google Uriah Faber, he, I have a butt in my chin. Not like this, dude. You oh, could he has you like could fuck butt. his. You have a butt in your chin. Yeah, but you can't have sex with this. You could have sex with his. You could have sex with his chin. It is like three inches deep. I guess you couldn't have sex with it. But you know what I mean? You could rub. You could get a. You could get suction. Look at that thing. It's like a vag. It's like a. It's a very prominent cleft chin. Yeah. So anyway, he's a nice guy. <laughs> he's a really good guy. And I was at a UFC uh, like party thing, yeah. And there he was, and I was like, "Oh no," you know, because I talked a lot of smack, and I was like, uh, "And he could definitely beat me up." I actually fought him. So you talk shit about this guy? Yeah. Who is this? It's Uriah Faber. He used to be uh, like he's like a UFC. He's a legend in the UFC. Mixed okay. martial arts for people that don't know what that is. Yeah, but uh, he also has a chinusi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, another one. <laughs> awesome, I'm taking that too. Chinusi Legitimaqua. Yeah, hell yeah. He has a very prominent Chinusi. It's insane. So I went over to him and I was like, "Hey, man, um, I just want to say that uh, you know I talked a lot of shit on you, you know, and I said you, know, you got a vagina in your face and stuff, and and that you're delirious. And the whole time I was explaining it to him, he was looking." less and less pleased with me. Right. I would I would get that. And I then would... I realized that he had not heard my show and I did not d- need to do any of this, but <laughs> I assumed that he might have and I wanted to keep it real because we're right. in the fight world and I don't want to be like, oh, d- did I? Like, I wanted to own it. Yeah. 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 As I was owning it, I was starting to regret owning it and I was owning it. I was being really above honest and it was not working out. So there was like an hour there where he was looking at me sideways and I was really worried. But You're trying had- to like stop talking and you just keep talking. Well, good news. Yeah? I actually saved this story for you. Yes! Because we were going to talk about it last week and then I was like, no, we have to talk about this with Jason. Are you familiar with the movie Dune? Yeah. Okay, the the Timothy Chalamet Dune. The new one. The new one. Yeah. Okay. My friend's in it. Who? Uh, Josh Brolin. Oh, good old Josh. Yeah. He's a really nice, but I really like that guy. I have nothing bad to say about him. Yeah, so there yeah. You go. See, Josh Brolin, we like you. I love him. Uh, so Dune 2 is coming out. Yeah. Um, and they released a worm. Speaking of earthworms. Yes. We talked about earthworms at the beginning. Just get a pool and it'll drown itself. No, this is a worm-themed popcorn bucket that they are releasing for <laughs> the movie. It's a butthole. Thank you. You're Straight welcome. up. Huh? And you put your hand in the butthole you to put, get popcorn? Yeah. Aren't those little prickly things going to steal popcorns out of my hand when I come back out? I have no idea, but like everyone the- has a say as to what this reminds them of. Oh, come on. I'll give you I'll give you a a dead daisy, but really it's a butthole. This is actually just Taylor Swift when you put a black light to her. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I see what you do. <laughs> wow. Okay. Just some evil worm. Evil succubus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that's the sound it makes. Yeah. If um, your hand goes in there, you ever see Flash Gordon? The series? Nah. <laughs> I don't know. Flash Gordon the movie. No, what? There was, I didn't know the movie. No. I oh, well, there's That's this- from the 70s, right? 80s, like early 80s. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I have not seen. But you got to put your yeah. hand in the tree hole, Ugh. and it's like one of the tree holes will stab, spike you, and you'll die. But some of them don't bite you. And then you play this game. Mm-hmm. This weird space Robin Hood guy played Flash Gordon in a, in a duel of putting their hands in the holes. And now they just do that on Jimmy Fallon every night. You know, they they're like, you know, where they're like, guess what's in the cage, and the oh. audience sees it, and they're like, no, you know, and it's like, yeah, oh, that, yeah, that. Interesting. Yeah. So I don't know. I here's the thing. I I get the creative approach. I think that's like that's in the movie. I have not seen Dune. I tried mm. to watch the first one on a plane and I fell asleep. It was too damn long and slow for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's gonna be someone in the theater. There's gonna be that one. Oh yeah, put your dick in the bottom. <laughs> Someone's gonna. Flash. Yeah. How much? Yeah. Someone's well, that's kind of cool. Well. 
We talked about a Chinusi. Now we have a Dunusi. Yeah. So now we have a full on. They should change glory holes and have that. That's in terrifying. The hole. Yeah. That just looks like it would hurt. Well, it depends on how big that hole is. But the teeth? Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, the, the teeth need to be pretty wide. Uh, but you can poke yourself on the way back out. Wait, that's rubber, right? Well, how else are you going to get your hand in and out? I don't know. I feel like I always have that urban myth, that urban legend of like the, the guy who puts his dong in a popcorn box. Mm, yeah. And then the girl's like, hey, hey, hey. Like, Did I'm anyone ever if, really do that? I think so. Oh. If you guys know anyone who <laughs> yeah. has done that, let me know in the comments because I think it's just urban legend. Me too. But it's I, like I, eating spiders in your sleep. It didn't happen. I think that's real. It's not real. It's How been proven know? because it's been proven to be non-factual. How? TikTok told me yesterday. No. <laughs> yes, it did. Now you're that woman on TikTok. <laughs> I don't want to know. But this is, this is I, I don't know. It's a little weird. I don't like commercially stuff. Yeah. Like you got a movie and you go, ooh, you know what I mean? And we'll have popcorn that looks like the worm's mouth. Like, I no, just shut up. And like, cause now you're trying to, like, I feel like you don't believe the movie's that good. Yeah. That's why you have to make a weird butthole popcorn container mm -hmm. to make you want to go to the movies. And also call me a traditionalist. I think we are. I think we're both. Hashtag not my worm. I'm a yeah. Sarlacc a uh, guy from Star Wars. That's my worm. That's my sandworm. Okay. That and Beetlejuice. The Those are pretty good worms. worms. That, that's not a worm. What is that? That's just some glory yeah, it's a hole flower. with teeth. What's with the flower bit? Oh, wait. Does the popcorn... It's in the hole, right? Mm. Not on top. There's mm. a bucket. There's a bucket underneath it. Yeah, they it's put the bucket. popcorn in the bottom part of that, and then you this go like in. I don't kids. like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. You know what else I don't like about movie theaters? What? 4D movie theaters. What's the... Well, I don't understand it. Dude, it's so annoying. What the is whole the, chair moves. Oh, that. And, and then there's like air that shoots out and yeah. hits you in the face and stuff. I went and watched Meg 2 in a 4D I theater. Meg 2. Yeah, and I was on a date. I'm really bad at dates. That was a bad choice of movie theater. And I movie. kept falling out of the seat. Yeah, but well, what? But so that—that's a giant shark. Are you just getting splashed the whole time? You're just getting waterboarded in your yeah, chair. Yeah, but even the fight scenes, it's like when Jason Statham get punched in the face, psh, some air would hit me, oh, and I'm like, dude, unnecessary. Corny. Yeah, Boo. it was too many air things hitting me. Yeah, but it was because this is the only person that I'd ever met that liked Meg. And I was oh. like, then we're going to Meg 2. And we were both pretty bummed out. It wasn't as good as the It wasn't one. as good. It wasn't as good. It was, um, it was extra stupid. I thought so, too. I saw Meg 2. But theaters. I love Jason Statham, though. Oh, yeah. He could. He makes me believe that I'm going to make it. He, okay. You know he's not an actor, right? No, he was. He, he, he start... picked him at the front of a club. Really? That's what he said. I feel like I, he was also, he wasn't a fighter either, was he? Was he was a swimmer. Swimmer. Yeah, He was an diver. Olympic swimmer. Diver, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, we have more to get He's into. He's pretty hot. I would date him. Jason Stratham? Jason Stratham? Statham. Statham. Yeah, he'd be all right. Obviously, I'd watch, I'd watch. Like, Us Bone? No, 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 no. Like, I'd watch him, like, get ready for work or something. Right, he's pretty shredded. Yeah. It's pretty hot. <laughs> get ready for He's work. a bit short. But um, I just like bald guys that people think are hot. Yeah. I, he, and he's and like, he's, he's going to chewed up head like me. So he's, and people are like, oh, he's so hot. I'm like, well, come on. Yeah. What about me? He's got like that, like, si uh, um, that. Uh, he's got a boxer's nose. Spy, you know, espionage. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the day. Yeah. Kind of vibe. Yeah. He does that in a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. Um. But let's get into, did you see this, Elmo? Mm. Poor Elmo. See, Larry David punched him? Yeah. That was funny. Um, I feel bad for him. Why? Because I just, Elmo fucked up. What did he do? He got on the internet. And did what? You stay on, you know what, you're, you're from Sesame Street, stay on the street. He Wait. got, Elmo went onto the internet and thought everything was going to be okay by asking people on Twitter, how is everybody doing? That was really stupid. And the internet let Elmo have it. <laughs> Poor Elmo. Um, was On just Twitter? On X, yeah. I Sorry, go yeah. Killer. I think I, I, I people call it Twitter, people call it X, whatever. Screw that whole and thing. People went off on him. Good. 
It earned 150 million impressions. Well, that's paying it for itself. People were just like, uh, are you kidding me? People were sending memes. He was just getting attacked. And then he went on, um, what was it? Good Morning America? Yeah. Um, with Jenna Bush and Hoda. And uh, Larry David went over to him, grabbed his face, and like put him in a chokehold. I saw that. That was pretty funny. And Is Al that Roker, for being on X? Huh? Did he do that because he made that comment on X? Uh huh. Good. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. He should shut up. Yeah. X is not for kids. Well, it is pretty bizarre. And like everyone was like coming for Larry David. <laughs> they were just like, leave him alone. But it's also like, it's a puppet. It's a puppet. It's got yeah. hand, and he yeah. didn't even hit the hand. Like, people were just saying, like, Elmo, like, I'm having a quarter-life crisis. Like, this is how my uh, life is going. You know, just shut up. I do, I did like, I did enjoy Elmo. Like, when it, when my kids were growing up and I would watch Elmo say stuff. <laughs> it's pretty funny that Larry David attacked him, though. Yeah. Like, how is that not funny? I mean, it is... You should have punched that other puppet as well. Like, everybody should have got some. <laughs> I would have. I feel like the other puppet's way creepier than the Elmo. Agreed. Like, that's that looks like someone that looks like someone's dad at Margaritaville. Look, I think that if you're going to be a guy that is a huge influence to children, mm -hmm. and then you go on this show and you start using Twitter, because Twitter's got porn on it. Oh, yeah. That's, like, basically the only thing that I do on there is watch... That, that's my porn. Twitter? You know, X? Yeah, sorry, X, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it tracks. Yeah, because I don't watch porn. I don't, like, type in porn on my laptop or on my TV. But I've got a lot of porn friends, and it's good to see what they're up to. <laughs> you know, and I see, like, little snippets, and that's enough for me. Oh, it's a little tease for their OnlyFans, <laughs> right? Yeah, or, like, weird. Like, I like following the ones where it's, like, they got these devices that hold your penis in a thing so you can't get hard and stuff. Like the Dune popcorn bucket. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there's all these weird little trap things mm -hmm. and, like, leather stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ooh, I like leather stuff and in evil dog masks and stuff. Oh, wow. Seems cool. Yeah. I don't know much about it, but it's I'm interested in it. In 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 the bondage. I like bondage. Yeah. I like cock and ball torture. Okay. I didn't know. But I had a friend who's a dominatrix and she was like, You should try it. And my co-host was like, You like pain? And I was like, Not exactly, <laughs> but I guess I'm kind of okay with it. And then turns out I do like it. I had like weights on it and she oh, would wow. electrocute it. Wow. Put me in this weird rubber bed thing where it's where got one little hole. Yeah, out. and you're I like a you're like a frozen meat thing, it, but not frozen. It is so funny that you say that because <laughs> I went to it was like Pride one year. I want to say it was like one of the first prides that I went to when I when I moved here. Maybe like 2006 or seven, eight or nine, maybe. Mm. And I, we wound up in the s and bondage tent. My so friends cool. and I, we were like, let's just go check it out. Yeah. And I saw that guy. There was a guy in like a latex square. That was me. It probably was. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are now. Yeah. But he had that. It was like the straw. Yeah. And like all the air was sucked out. And I was yeah. like, how is this enjoyable? I had that with a rubber mask on so I couldn't see. And the rubber mask had a little hole. And and the my mistress lined me up with a little hole so I could breathe through the little hole. And then not when I'm breathing in, when I breathe out, then she'd go. And I'd have no air. And then she was like straddling me and stuff. That's terrifying. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, you've just had it. You've just had it all. I mean, you're, you've had heart issues. Man, that's concussion. such a great thing to you brag know who about. Else is, you've yeah. had it all. But you almost died from a heart condition. Like, well, what about some of the cool things I did? Well, I would say I would compare you to like the Demi Lovato of comedy. You know, because she's been through it too. No. No. Nah. Look, I mean. We're Look, to transition here. I know. I'm transitioning here. <laughs> just transition. <laughs> I'll recover. You're like, God damn it. I am. I'm just but a wreck. This is actually kind of, uh, this was in the news. Um, Demi Lovato uh, performed at the American Heart Association Go and Red for Women. She sang a song called Heart Attack. Red dress collection yeah. event and performed the song Heart Attack. Yeah. Um, which She's was, not saying, hey, everybody in the crowd, die. No. It's the I think song. Everyone, of course, has an opinion online, and they're yeah. like, why didn't you pick a different song? People attack her more than anybody. 
She gets it a lot. She's been through it. I actually, and she's confused too. And it's like when someone's confused, do you have to bash them? Well, they barely know who they are as is. Uh, Carney Wilson was telling me that she went to, she was doing an event with Demi Lovato. I want, I want to say like in Florida or something. Yeah. And I, I read this article, and everything that she was telling me was like, like aligned with this article. How she's like. You know, she she's blind in some parts of her brain. She can't drive. Wait, she's blind? She's bl- like if she can't she can't see certain things. She's had like several strokes. Strokes from what? From uh like drugs. Dang. She died like three times. <laughs> oh yeah. wow. So she said uh she took the stage in New York City. I respect that. Um and everyone at this Video circulated online showing her walking through the crowd as she sang Heart Attack with select attendees. She spoke on the mind-heart connection. It was a sensitive moment intended to champion the women in the room, the very reason why Demi was at the event. Uh, She did open with a beautiful intro on why she chose the song and addressed the room, talking about the mind and heart connection. It was a beautiful moment. Okay. Yeah. So she addressed it before she sang it. Yeah. And then we just pull, she sang Heart Attack at a heart convention. Yes. But in actual fact... See, the press sucks. Yeah. Give well, her a break. This is the she part that really I read. really good in that video. She says, I actually don't think people realize how bad it actually was. She said, I had three strokes. I had a heart attack. I suffered brain damage from the strokes. I can't drive anymore. And I have blind spots in my vision. So sometimes when I go pour a glass of water, I miss the cup because I can't see it. Oh I also God. had pneumonia because I asphyxiated and had multiple organ failure. I'm really lucky to be alive. My doctor said that like I had five to 10 more minutes and my assistant had not come in. I wouldn't be here today. She, she she can sing whatever she wants. And also, it's her damn song. Yeah, then there's that. Yeah, why are we doing that? Everyone's like, look what she did. It's like, uh. But m- meanwhile, I'm like, She's trying to justice help. Justice for Celine Dion. <laughs> Which is fair. <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah. I think, and also, I feel like, it wasn't like she sprung this on the American Heart Association. Yeah. Um, I do, however, will recommend a heart... Um, awareness playlist. Um, yeah, fair enough. And my playlist will be available on Spotify. <laughs> this is the Ultimate Heart Association playlist. <laughs> Headlined by Heart, obviously. Of course. We will have Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse of the Heart. Yeah, that's a good one. In there as well. Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. That's cute. Listen to Your Heart by Roxette. You should, especially if it's going to stop. You should listen to your heart. Look for the warning signs. Yes. You know? Um, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart by Bee Gees. Which is very helpful. Mm Mm-hmm. And back to Celine, My Heart Will Go On. Which is very uh, powerful Mm -hmm. and, like, motivational. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of those people, they're dying because their heart sucks. But Celine's like, nah -uh." You could tell your mind because the mind, as these doctors say, is connected to the heart Mm -hmm. to keep on going. Mm -hmm. I do that. Mm -hmm. When I was in the hospital and they were going to electrocute me, I was like, listen. To your heart. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Remember Celine Dion. Yeah. Keep going, you know? God. So I I applaud Demi. I just feel like everyone's just shitting on her. I didn't know that that was all, there was so much more to the story. It's a lot. It's crazy because Carney told me all that. She was like, yeah, she was... She said all of that. And I was reading the article and I was like, how about that? Um, It'd be weird to want to perform or do anything when you do something to help people with heart conditions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the press goes, she hates people with heart conditions. See? And you're like, I I have one. Yeah. She only hangs out with heartless people. Yeah. She's, look at her. What a monster. She I looks know. good too. She looks like she bounced back a little bit. She's looking think a little so. rocky for a minute there. She, yeah. I think she's like in love. Which oh. you need a heart to do. So you do, and there's proof. And I think she's like like having... I think she actually got married. She got married. That might have been a t- bit too quick. She got married. I guess I haven't followed her recently, but she's yeah. a girl again, right? <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. That might be... It seems like that's the right fit for her. Yeah. I think it was a lot of confusion, and she... Hey, a couple of heart attacks will do that yeah. to you. But yeah. Agreed. Um, I support anybody who wants to be whatever they are. I don't get that whole I'm against it thing. It's like, man, try being that. You've yeah. ever met somebody that's going through that? Because I got friends that are that are trans and 
and all that stuff. And I'm like, hang out with them. Hang out with and them. And then and then tell me how uh, bullshit it is. Yeah. God forbid. To me, it's you're, very obvious. You're having people wanting to live their authentic selves. Yeah. And who are you to say it's not authentic? Right. It drives me insane. Me too. I hate when people post their clueless opinions of stuff with like that. And I'm like, have you hung out with one? Yeah. Have you boned one? Mm -hmm. You know, because that goes a long way too. I think we should just have um, individual bathrooms to solve everything. For each person, like Every Jason person. and Justin? Yeah. Can just we use each other's bathroom? Solved. I'm tired of this whole like, oh, everyone's going into our bathroom. Who gives a shit? I need to pee. I need to poop. And I need to wash my hands. Just have the-, the Give me a thing. The door. Oh. Uh, when you go in the door and that's it. That's it. So there's a, one opening. And then when you go in there, there's a bunch of doors that shut. Yeah. And you can't see- you know? Yeah, I don't, I, 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 yeah. It drives I guess, me insane. Yeah, me too. I get angry about it's it. It's like if you have a dinner party with your friends and like you have, you know, you have the charcuterie board out. I love charcuterie boards. I do too. Is that gay? Yeah. I really love them. Good. Like I've been to parties and I'm like, this place sucks. Oh, <gasps> charcuterie, charcuterie board. I mean, if you can get down with almonds and apricots on the same board. I'm so into that. And then the fig stuff. Oh, yeah. Fig spread. So yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything with like uh, prosciutto and oh, like yeah. calabrese or whatever yeah, it's and called. The, even some honey. Mm. All different crackers. Because mm -hmm. you never know which one's the good one, you know? You know what? If you really wanted to gay up your Super Bowl party this weekend, get a charcuterie board. Watch heads turn. Okay. I'll remember <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I feel like if you're having a party with someone or like a group of people over at your house or something, you mm. have one bathroom. Mm -hmm. Everyone uses it. Right. Problem solved. Right? Wow. Thank That's you. That's like the flat earth argument. I'm like, do you yeah. know in, a, in Australia, the toilet bowls spin the other way? I'm tired of how's this. A, how's a flat? Yeah. How's a flat? Mm -hmm. It can't be. Shut up. Yeah. It you know? drives me insane. So stupid the that there's argument. still an argument. Um. Well, we have time for one more story. Okay. You are you a big dog person? Yes, I've got Good. five dogs. You have five? Yep. What what kind? Three Chihuahua rescues oh. and a Pomeranian and a Boston Terrier. Oh. Yeah. I didn't see your dogs when I went over to your house. Oh, you might have heard them. I think I might have heard them. I yeah. think they were in the other room. Yeah. Um, well, this video kind of went viral. Not kind of. It actually They piss in did. the studio if I let them in there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. No. I get that. This uh, woman in downtown LA, yeah. I don't know if you saw this video or not. No, there was not. a dog napper who was- Is that a guy that puts dogs to sleep? A dog napper. He no, steals like a them. kidnapper, but dog napper. Is that one of those ones where they steal and then they say, hey, I found your dog, give me money? And that's their business? Sometimes. It depends on the nap, on, on the type What's of nap. What's this guy's nap theory? I mean, this guy was- actually caught after stealing a French bulldog. French bulldogs are like having a moment right yeah. now. All the French bulldogs are trying to get stolen. It's sad. I would love for the government to hire me to beat those people. Absolutely. Up. Well, this yeah. woman, uh, her French bulldog was stolen in a frightening scene that left the owner clinging to the hood of the car. Yeah, respect. So let me read this story. So the Los Angeles dog oh. napper. Yeah was caught on video speeding off with a French bulldog as the pet uh, pet's owner desperately clung to the hood of the car. It's love. The, it, uh, the LAPD busted Sadie Slater, 21, in Inglewood on Saturday in connection to the pooch theft and set her bail at 70 grand. Good. It was not immediately clear if the dog, a black merle French bulldog with a spotted coat and different colored eyes named Onyx, was found or returned to his owner. Onyx, The daytime douche. dog napping unfolded at 2.30... When the owner, uh, Ali Zach Zacharias, was enjoying lunch with her pup at the Whole Foods on Grand Avenue and 8th Street, and a female stranger started calling for her dog. The strange woman then grabbed the dog's leash and began walking away with him, something Zacharias told local news. And then this woman with, uh, I mean, went full Greek. Zacharias, I believe, is a Greek last name. And she was like, Hell no. Yep. Full 300 on this woman. Yeah. I didn't think that somebody was stealing my dog. I thought it was a misunderstanding. And then she realized that the woman wasn't paying attention to her. The robber then got in a getaway car that was waiting nearby. Zacharias tried to get inside, but said the car was packed with four other dogs inside. Wow. They pushed her out and locked the doors in a panic. 
Zacharias moved in front of the car while screaming help, but nobody came. I mean, look at this dog. This is a cool looking dog. Yeah, he's I mean, ugly. French bulldogs aren't my thing, but I get it. Is one eye looking the other way? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, because they always on. say like one, like if they're, like they might be blind or, or deaf. I can't they remember. They have problems. Yeah, yeah. But I, I had mean, one. <sighs> yeah, so I think that we should beat her and the other, <laughs> and the driver. I mean, do we, can we actually see the video? I mean, it's pretty intense. So yeah. the woman was caught. She's been charged, you know, with... Did she get away at the time or did the lady stay on the car until the authorities... I think she stayed on the damn car. Here's the video. Let's see. Because isn't that like attempted murder for driving that car with a lady on there? I think so. Because it looked fast enough to kill that lady. I she think fell it off. is, yeah. I don't like that other people don't join in. I'm not jumping on a hood of a car. No, but... Look at this. Okay, you can't, <laughs> yeah, you can't help her now. She's on her own, for sure. Yeah. But before she got on the car and she was like, hey, that's my dog, you could have helped. I mean, that's insane. That's love. That's my... That's I know. My dogs are my children, and I have children. If you steal my child, I'm on the hood of the car. Yeah. If you steal my dog, I'm on the hood of the car. That Same is, thing. It's, it's just... it's. A special kind of breed, no pun intended, of people who would go out of their way to steal someone's dog. Yeah, they really it's gave up so, on life. Ugh. Because you could have got a job. You could have, like, hustled and got a craft. But yeah. instead, you got all miserable, probably started taking drugs. And you are like, I heard an easy thing is to steal people's dogs and then sell them on... Is it dog trafficking? <laughs> is it yeah. called that? I mean, they're not having sex with them, I hope, but they're still selling them. What? That's another. Sorry, I didn't mean that. No, I didn't even put those. Together. I mean, you did say trafficking, so that's I know. Usually but I mean, what that's happened. what it is, right? Or yeah. dog napping, whatever. But dog napping is probably a little nicer oh. way to put it. But yeah, we should kill them. <laughs> there's a lot of people that we don't need. You yeah, know? and it should be like, I'll give you two strikes. Well, I'm glad this was a good dog mom, and I mean, she risked it all to save her dog. And, <laughs> she and deserves an award. She does. She deserves to be given that award by um, what's her name, the stiff lady. Sorry. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Sorry. Celine Dion. Yeah. Her name is Celine Dion. I know. I just was in a hurry. Je suis of course I know Celine. who Celine Dion is. She mm -hmm. did that video in the desert with the leopard onesie on. That was Shania Twain. Oh. Okay. Well, Celine Dion is the girl that went out with that real fat, ugly guy. Is a record label guy. That was Mariah Carey. No. Stop trying to do that. She married a fat, ugly guy as well. They oh. both were into fat, ugly music directors. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks yeah. for trying to make Mariah me... Mariah did too. Yeah, yeah, but Celine Dion had like a real big... He had like dark rings under his eyes and stuff. Um, he wasn't what was hot. His, what was his name? I can't try to remember. Renee. Renee. Renee, which not is her hot. Son, which is her son's name too. She named... Yeah, okay. Renee. Yeah, that's him. I mean, was it Renee Angeli? You know what? He's not as hideous with sunglasses. That's what I was on. saying. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I was like, Renee was a good dude. Was you know? he? I don't know. He married her young, so who knows? See what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, they. She loved him, and he loved her. Wait, their heart will go. Did on. he die? Yeah. Oh uh, well, he could have like gone to the gym a little bit. He might have lived a little longer. He looked like he needs some cardio. Just saying, man, like it, when it starts knocking on the door, there's things you can do. Yeah. Don't just give up. And on that note, let's play Demi Lovato's Heart Attack <laughs> to, <laughs> to go what? out with this week's episode. Do we? Is that it? Do we have any more? This is a bonus story. Okay. And I was like, we have to talk about this. Look at the glimmer in your eyes. Yeah. Uh, this man, I don't know. When I think of like alpha males, like I feel like they do like – cold plunges for Yeah, fun. you know the guy with the vagina chin? His yeah. team is called Team Alpha Male. Oh, barf. I know, right? What does that even mean? It's not even real. Team Apparently, Alpha Male? Wolves are not even, the Alpha Male is not even like the leader. I feel like if you have to tell everyone you're an Alpha Male, maybe you're not an Alpha Male. E is what I think. Tiny dick. Mm -hmm. Full bush. Yep. Yep. So this guy. Like an egg and egg cup. Uh, you haven't seen him naked? No. No. Oh. No, I don't look at MMA guys' penises. I would. But that's fair. That makes sense. But just to see. Yeah. I often wonder about some of the more aggressive MMA guys 
if they have a because mm-hmm. it just seems like why are you so angry? Yeah, you know. And is that don't they like put their fingers in the butter? Is that wrestling? That's wrestling. Okay. Yeah. And they're like, I don't think they allow that, but they <clears throat> they have done that sometimes. Yeah. I've seen some videos where they what is it called? It's called the has a name. The the. <laughs> It has a name where they like, yeah, where yeah. they put it in there and like, oh, oh, oh that's I mean, weird. there's an actual move where they say, like, when they're teaching you to. It's like an illegal move, right? Oh, oh, you're talking about straight up finger in there, right? Because there's a, there's a crutch grab where you do grab the crutch. If someone's trying to take you down, you can reach over and grab their crutch region, and it does prevent them from taking you down. So it's mm-hmm. not. But then some people abuse that. Yeah, I would do that if someone tried to steal my dog. Right. Yeah. No, I've seen some fights on. Yeah. No, that, if you don't know how to fight and you like grab some some undercarriage, yeah, that usually stops people. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this guy is showing everyone how alpha he is because he's eating raw chicken every day oh, until he gets a tummy ache, which that not very. It wouldn't alpha. take that long, right, to get a tummy ache from that? I have no idea. He's been eating raw chicken every day since January nineteenth of this a, year. Do you believe him? Yeah, look at him. He looks like Tucker Carlson. Exactly. Right, good point. That guy's hideous. Absolutely. He's like the liver king, but not fit. So this man, he... Are those raw eggs next to it? I I don't understand. Yeah. God, unnecessary. So he's, he's, is this to have a big following on YouTube? Yeah, well, I don't know. That's what he's saying. He's gone viral. Can the dog nap guy steal him? Can the what? Yeah. This is what, like, some people just need to, like, get out of here. Let's steal him. We're just trying to get through our week. And not sell him back yeah. to anybody. Just get rid of it. So he's eating raw chicken every day until he gets a tummy ache, which I don't feel like an alpha male would say the word tummy ache. Wait, he says I'm an alpha male and yeah. I'm eating raw chicken? Well, I mean, I just feel like alpha males would do this. Like, Arr, I'm eating raw meat. Look at me. See what you you've know? done, alpha yeah. males? Yeah. yeah. That's what we think. We think you're that stupid. Yeah. So he's eating, he's doing the raw chicken experiment. Yeah. So he films himself <laughs> eating raw chunks of chicken, which he then pairs with various sides and seasonings and op- uploads a daily video. Ugh. He says he has yet to get sick during his, quote, science experiment. Oh, shut up. Whenever someone tells me not to do something, it always makes me a little interested. That, that this time was with chicken. So here's what I'm saying. Give this man salmonella immediately. Yeah. He we should have it. And I got a friend that eats raw meat all the time. His why? His breath stinks because he's and his weird. breath stinks. Yeah. What kind of meat? Anything. He like gets burger meat and eats it raw. I'm gonna get sick. Yeah. He also like, collects his own urine. What? It just makes sense that it all goes together. You need you know? better friends. Well, I don't live with him. Okay, fair. Wait, is he putting it on a on pizza? He's putting salsa. That is a oh, lot. Oh, masala sauce. Oh my god. I don't believe this guy. I believe he takes one bite and then he throws it up and this is all a big thing to be cool on social media. And and and, and shame on anybody that follows him. Yeah. Because you're better than that. Yeah. We're all better than that. Don't eat, eat this chicken. But what is the point of this? To get followers. It's just so It's just dumb. Dumb. We're so dumb so now. Dumb. Like to the point dumb. where raw chicken guy. Oh, he's drinking the fucking juice. Okay, that's pretty cool. I, mean, I am now as a physical challenge. I have just turned into the Dune popcorn bucket. Yeah, yeah. there go the eggs. Oh, I mean, oh, you were. I mean, sick. that's not Rocky Balboa did that in Fair. like seventy nine. Also, like, the who death cares? of the Neverending Story put an egg in his smoothie, and it always freaked me out. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you remember that movie? Because I know the Neverending yeah. Story. So the dad who was, um, what was his name? Oh God, it was what's his name. I'm forgetting his name. Um, the guy who played Coach. I'm forgetting it. That's people are going to come after me. Whatever. Um, he put an egg in the in his smoothie in the morning and told his son to like go to school and quit being. It's aware. overrated. I would like to cook him. Mm-hmm. Just- I know you can't eat raw chicken when you actually look like raw chicken. Yeah, like yeah. he looks like raw chicken. And he's at the front of a Chick-fil-A. I hate this guy. I know I do too. I really shouldn't say that. That's aggressive. No, it's fine. We hate you. But I don't like him. He's I don't like, like you're eating raw chicken. I feel like you're on TikTok. You're like kids are watching this and they're gonna be like, well, if he can do it, I can do it. And yeah. like, no, this isn't good. Oh yeah. 
Oh, what if your kid eats raw chicken because raw chicken guy does? salmonella and, like, gets really, really sick. What would you rather your kid did, eat raw chicken or vape? Vape. Fair. I guess. Yeah, I feel like kids are, like, doing vaping, they right? so stupid. Well, I mean, kids smoked cigarettes when, you Yeah, know. good point. It's just such a bad idea. It's just like you're 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 ready to make potential. Like you could be a beast of of all sorts. You could be an artist, a musician, whatever it is you want to be. But instead, you're vaping, and what? it's just like you're. There, there goes another loser. And it's like you're better than that. Know. You know, like if you if if I didn't if you didn't see all these other losers doing it, you wouldn't have done it because mm -hmm. you don't. It's like sketch your shoes. It's you don't want to do it, but somebody else did it, and you're like, oh, maybe I'll give it a go. No. You know, that's why this guy should be banned. If like, you're, you're just saying, if you're going to smoke, smoke cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's, it's like, a, you know I mean? It's probably better for your lungs, mm. as in conditioning your lungs to survive. Yeah. In case, like, uh, you know, in the world, like, ends. You know the world's going to end soon, right? Like when? I don't know. I know, because I keep thinking, should I just not bother anymore? But I think it's probably, like, another 20 years. Oh, that's fine. But we're flooding. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I know. It's outside. I see it. I see I might it. not make it home. Yes, you will. I hope so. You will. <laughs> I want to watch this show. I hope it, well, I hope I did it all right. Which which one? Your show. Oh, it Dickhead? comes out. Yeah, what the it comes hell? out. Yes, you have to watch this show. Right, but I'm gonna live long enough to see it. You will. You will. You and it'll be it? available on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. Um, Jason, thank you so much for Thanks being so here. Thanks so much for having me. Did you me? have fun? Yes, Good. I love you, and I love your shows, and I love everything you do. Thank you. And, and thanks tell, for being so nice to me. Please, of course. We're buds. And tell everyone where everyone can find you. Uh, I'm on Instagram, at Wolfmate. I guess if you want to send me a dick pic, I'm back, so go for it. And then Twitter, at Ellismate. And then who cares about TikTok? Jason Ellis Show and Hawk vs. Wolf, both podcasts. And then I also do a Patreon Patreon.com slash Ellismate, where I do two shows a week, Jason L show, and then I do a, a one pr solo show a week where I talk about all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And then I have OnlyFans where I retired. You retired on OnlyFans? From boning people. Oh. Now I have OnlyFans like Whitney Cummings, but nowhere near as successful. Where it's what do like, you do on your OnlyFans? I like model in like like uh, underwear and stuff, mm -hmm. and then I like have some videos of like jokes I'm working on and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's like not not uh, porn. not hardcore. Porn. Yeah, I'm out of the game. I retired. But you did put hardcore porn on. I did. I boned everybody. Wow. Yeah. Well, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> it's only fans. It's gone. Yeah, that just, bit's gone. That chapter is closed. It is. Well, I feel like you, it's but... time to move on. Well, good. I was in a dark place, you know, and I was like, hey, how bad can it be to get boned on camera? Turns out pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Some I people mean, have weird opinions about that. It's good to see you evolving. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. It is good. And thank you guys. And make sure to like and subscribe, rate and review. Uh, make sure to share the clips. We'd love to hear from you guys. And we love that you take time to listen to this podcast. And also, happy birthday, Evan. Uh, I'll see you soon. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.